class. All right, so today we're going to be talking about how to do some basic drawing skills, uh, just to bring up the skill set that you already got so that we can make you guys draw a little bit better. Uh, now, these are tips that I use when I'm teaching my students because as you teach over time, there, there's little tricks and tips that you learn uh, that really just make your life easier. So this is just the basic way that I teach drawing and what I can do to make sure that my students are capable of drawing anything that I ask them to draw. All right, so the top of the paper here, I've labeled it with a drawing 101, and we're gonna draw some basic shapes first. So starting off on this little uh, caveat, we're gonna be working with a square. So once you've copied the square on the paper, we're gonna add a plus sign to this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding lines to this turn into a three-dimensional cube now i'll tell you up front the cube is the hardest thing that you are going to draw all right so the, what i've done here is i'm taking two squares over line laid them and connecting the, the four corners to give it a three-dimensional viewpoint now this viewpoint is a transparent cube now for the transparent cube you do want to augment that to transparent cube you can see through the cube that's the essential of a transparent cube now for me in drawing i want to change that to an opaque cube so on the paper we got opaque listed down on the paper and opaque means is that it's, it's a it's a cube that you can't see through so we're going to take this glass type shell and turn it more into a structural box uh, the reason we do this is because if we're drawing buildings if we're drawing really anything at all we need to be able to draw that opaque version so we can't see through it so for this again starting off with a cube uh, as the initial piece, or starting off with the square, sorry, as the initial piece, I'm going to turn my paper 45 degrees and draw three lines. Now, when I'm drawing these three lines, let me make it very clear what I'm doing. I'm writing the number one three times on each of these corners. Now, the reason I say it that way is that by writing that number one, your brain is creating that one single line that you already know how to draw. Next one that I'm gonna work on, starting off with a book shape, draw those three lines in the center, connect the tops and bottoms, and then draw a top to coming off of that. Now, here's the thing that becomes a little more problematic when we're drawing three-dimensional cubes, is the way that you view the cube. Now, looking at this at a perspective, this cube that I'm working on right now, I see it from a more uh, aerial perspective because of the way that I've drawn that square at the top. Now, if I stretch up those sides, I'll have much more of a um, different viewpoint on that cube, and that will change up the sides of the cube. Now, notice the, the larger one that I've drawn next to it. As it's gone up, the top of that building next to it has decreased. By decreasing that just slightly, the pitch of my viewpoint has changed slightly. All right, now another variation of creating that cube is what we're going to draw is we're going to start off with an M. So a nice capital M. Make sure that all of your lines are pretty symmetrical to each other. Uh, so that when I start from the top of that M, drawing a line through the back. So again, making a transparent cube first. I want you guys to be able to see how I'm building and constructing these things. And bringing the lines around that to finish off the, the outside of the cube first and then illustrating the front. All I'm doing is adding lines to certain elements, certain sides, so that I can create that finished structure. Anytime that you guys are drawing, look at the lines of the object itself. Don't look at the whole thing. That's going to just kill your brain. Too much information all at once. All right, the next section that we're going to be working on is the pyramid. All right, for the pyramid, start off with the basic side of it, which is a nice triangle. You're going to take that triangle, and to this we're going to add a few lines. That's all we're doing here. Is we're taking those basic shapes, and we'll be adding some basic lines to that to, to create those shapes that we're trying to illustrate. So, start off with the triangle. I'm going to add a less than sign. Sorry, I'm going to add a greater than sign on the back of it. That's going to give me a finished pyramid. Now, quadrilateral pyramid? I think it's a quadrilateral. But all you're doing to that, that is just adding that less than sign on it just to create that backward space. Next shape we're moving down to is the sphere. So for the sphere, you're going to start off with a circle, and to this we're going to be adding shading. Now shading is something very simplistic, but it's it's the way that we have to shade. So on my paper here, I'm going to draw three circles, and to each one of these, I'm going to add a little bit of shading, and and that's going to change the depth and perception of where that where that sphere is in space. All right, for the first sphere, I'm adding a hatching cross hatching lines below it so, so that the light source is on the top. Simple shading techniques around the edge, the bottom edge of each of these circles to create where these things are located in space. All 
All right, for the first one, it's floating off the table. Second one, it's sitting on the table. It's uh, sitting on the table because it's sitting on the table. I'm gonna put the shadow right underneath that sphere. Third one there is sitting above the table, floating in midair, cool magic stuff. And for that one, the shadow effect is gonna be directly underneath it, but with some space in between. That way, the way that it reads is that it's above the table instead of on the table, which is the second one. And again, looking at where the light source is pointed. So using that, using light, using an arrow to point where that stuff is, tells us where this stuff is in space and how to make it applicable to the situation that you guys are drawing. All right, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you learned something today, uh, some wonderful drawing and drawing techniques. Uh, as always, if you would like, share, subscribe down there at the bottom. Uh, do truly appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys next class. Later, guys.